Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This over here is a generic or a general formula for quadratic equations. That is, it represents all of the quadratic equations. And quadratic equations are only second degree polynomial equations. That is, the highest exponent of the x value is 2. And I suggested before that we were going to review four ways of solving these. Graphing, factoring, completing the square, and the quadratic formula. This here being the quadratic formula. x is equal to opposite of b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a, where a, b, and c are derived from this equation. Now there are two circumstances or scenarios where you don't have to go through all of this work to solve the quadratic equation. You will see that these are special cases. In the first scenario, this middle term will be missing, and there will be only two terms like this. So the equation will be something like x squared minus 25 is equal to 0. As you can see in this scenario, the x term, the middle term, is missing. Another example would be like x squared equals 16. Now here the 16 is on the other side, but again the middle term is missing. In the second scenario, you'll see that the last term will be missing. An example would be x squared minus 5x equals 0. Here again, there are only two terms. This last term, the constant term, is missing. So these are two special cases or two simple scenarios where we don't have to do all of this work to solve these quadratic equations. These are the simple cases. Over here, you just add 25 to both sides like this, and then you see, you just take the square root of both sides. Now this here simplifies to x, because square root of x squared is simply x. The square root symbol over here and the square, they neutralize each other and this becomes simply x. So this side simplifies to x and the square root of 25 is just 5. So all I did, I took the 25 to this side over here and then I took the square root of both sides. Now this one here in a way is more simple. We just take the square root of both sides like this. And then you get x is equal to plus or minus 4. Now the second case where the third term is missing, the constant term is missing, they might look a little trickier, but they're also actually quite easy. Here what you do is you factor out an x, because as you can see, x is common to both of these terms. So when you factor out an x, you get x times the quantity x minus 5 equals to 0. Now what I do is I use the zero product property to make two equations out of this one. Then I get x is equal to 0, or x minus 5 is equal to 0. Well, here's my answer ready made. And in this case, I just add 5 to both sides, and I get my second answer, x is equal to 5. So in summary, we're going to learn four ways of solving quadratic equations. Graphing, factoring, completing the square, and the quadratic formula. However, there are two simple scenarios where we don't have to do all of that work to solve the quadratic equation. The first scenario is over here, equations such as this, where this middle term is missing. So you have like x squared minus 25 equals to 0. Here you just take the 25 to the other side and take the square root of both sides. The second scenario is over here, where the constant term, the third term, was missing. In this case, you factor out an x over here, and then you use the zero product property to solve the equations. Until next time, as-salatu wa-salamu rasulillah, walhamdulillah rabbil alameen, as-salamu alaykum.